Hi, my name's Claire. Welcome to the museum. The museum is a fantastic place to explore the environments of Queensland. But what's even better is exploring these environments in real life, outside, in the wild. Come on, let's go. Today I'm visiting a mangrove forest. Mangroves are found in the area between high tide and low tide. This is low tide. You might think of mangroves as smelly places full of sand flies, but mangroves are important. They protect our shorelines, provide safe hiding places for baby fish, and provide habitat for other animals. They are also really tough environments for plants to live in. The water is salty and waves can cause erosion. The soil is also really soft and muddy and doesn't have much oxygen. The few plants that can survive here need to have special adaptations. Let's take a closer look. This is a grey mangrove. See all these things sticking out of the mud? They are the mangrove's roots and they work like snorkels to get oxygen out of the air because there isn't enough oxygen in the soil. The leaves are pretty amazing too. They have special glands that get rid of extra salt. Sometimes you can even see salt crystals on the underside of the leaf. This tree is a red mangrove. It has these stilt or prop roots that help the tree stay up in the soft, muddy soil. Now if I stand here really quietly, I might see some of the animals that live here. There's a mudskipper. It's actually a fish that uses its fins to skip across the mud. And a fiddler crab waving its claw. And there's a mud whelk. And up high in the trees, there is a whole colony of flying foxes that call the mangroves home. There are a lot of white ibis around here. You can see them roosting in the trees or feeding on the mud. Back here in the museum, we can see some other animals that live in the mangroves. Like this archer fish. It squirts a jet of water at insects on overhanging branches and then grabs them when they fall in the water. And this is a kingfisher. And here's a shrimp. And a tasty looking mud crab. You might like to make a mangrove triorama to show off the plants and animals that you found. I've made two. One for high tide and one for low tide. Why don't you visit a mangrove forest? I wonder what plants and animals you'll find. 